Hello and welcome back. I'm here with What If Naruto had Julius's Powers, the final and fifth part. Sorry to take so long to finally get it out, but here it is. Hope that you will enjoy how I will finish it and then I'll get on with the One Piece video. You ain't gotta worry. I got all of that set up. It's just a matter of time before I get back into naturally bringing them out again. Like, you know, parts and parts after part until I finally finish, uh, finish it. And if anything, it's probably gonna finish at part 15 or yeah, part 15 or 16. I can't believe I just said that. I feel like I'm going insane. This series is probably my longest one ever. <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying that. It's not fun for me, though. All right. Uh, without any further ado, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to stay updated on all my future videos. And let's begin with the recap. In the last part, we began with a little scene of Gara getting some good sleep, which was hard before when he had Shikaku, but now he uh, had it more under control thanks to Naruto. Then, meanwhile, Hiruzen is called to discuss something about Naruto while Orochimaru is present, and Orochimaru wanted to talk to Naruto. He promised to join the village if he helps him become a mortal. And Sonata, of course, says no, but calls for Naruto because he's the only one that can handle, uh, handle his crap. Naruto, meanwhile, is on the hunt. He went to uh, the rain, he beat Pain, making him change his ways right before then being offered up his eyes. Naruto would implant one into himself and head to the leaf. And along the way, he met and captured uh, Obito. And as he headed back to the leaf, that's where Madara had attacked, and he brought along some other Akatsuki who are just basking in his greatness, I guess. Naruto then managed to beat him and shatter him with this new move called Time Saber. But due to his depleted energy, when he meets the villagers, his Renegon is exposed because his um, ability to hide it has, well, kind of lessened because he's tired. But now he is the hero to everyone. A meeting is then called to discuss him having the eyes, however. And during it, Naruto would reveal Donzo's actions. He's immediately in prison while they talk about the eye. And no one disagrees with him having it because, well, he's earned it. And he also wants to keep the other eye to himself just for safety. After this, the war soon started. Naruto sent out his clone all around to help, but he did have a little talk with Romarshu before. Uh, and he said that Obito stole a jutsu from him, the same one that he used to escape from Naruto the second time they fought. This allows Naruto to release the souls of the reanimated as Orochimaru inscribes this um, jutsu on his scroll, his mystical little scroll, and the war is going swimmingly and on their side, but then a strange creature would arrive. He kills Obito and proceeds to attack Naruto, who he almost kills when Naruto reheals and they start to really fight. Naruto is sent flying by Mamoshiki, who laughs, saying, You're actually kind of fun to play with, but you've been at this for too long. Time to die. We then see Naruto as with heavy breath he calls out to a scroll, which would then form right before him. By this point, he had been fighting for hours against this creature to the point where night had begun to fall, but though Momoshiki was hiding it, he was frustrated too. This goddamn human, aside from his ability, he's not that strong, why won't he just go down, he thought. He would then slightly fly back, but instantly, Naruto creates and extends his time saber as he was stabbed into the alien's shoulder, causing him to scream, and as he tries to absorb this with his Ren uh, Rene Sharingan, however, the eye would then explode, with his face being stained by his own blood. Impossible, he thought, as Naruto blitzes and slams a punch into his face before he then speeds himself up and starts to batter him with many attacks before then locking him in time with chronostasis. After doing so, he then blasts him with the beam, breaking the sphere, and cratering the alien to the ground, causing a massive explosion. I don't have much time left, I might have to use the eye instead, thought Naruto. Let me help, said Kurama, as Naruto then becomes covered in a three-tailed cloak, just as Momoshiki would then blast up from the ground, and he creates a giant bird-like thing made of flames that glides towards Naruto, who releases an almighty push and allows uh, this allows him to blow it away. He then quickly attacks, forcing Momoshiki into a Tajutsu fight, while he also swung about his time saber, which the alien felt he had to get away from or he would die. He no longer could even use absorbing powers, but feeling tired of being belittled, he dodges and kicks him in the face before then releasing a biju bomb from his hand that he slams into Naruto's stomach. He would spew massive amounts of bl uh, blood but grab onto his hand and headbutt it, making Momoshiki angry, and he would do the same but causes uh, Naruto's forehead to just burst with a lot of blood. Down below meanwhile, the ninja army would arrive along with the likes of the reanimated Ita uh, Itachi, yes, and many other warriors who were reanimated but gained control of their bodies since Obito simply died, they had no one to control them anymore. They did have to, they don't have to even wonder, uh, wonder though, they did have to like look for Naruto because him and that huge source of chakra was being felt up and they just looked above and watched as the two clashed and clashed. But their bodies shook every time they clashed, everything was shaking, they were shivering and they wondered if they had to face that monster that Naruto was handling. Come on Naruto, thought Neji. The two would then come crashing down, causing everyone to make way before they crashed like in the middle, like a comet and they're abundant by a huge dust cloud. Quickly, Hinata would then use the wind pump to blow it all away, but her eyes become lifeless when she sees the blood of Naruto on the alien's hand. He was immobile, Naruto's eyes were closed, and everyone became horrified. No! Hinata screams as she blitzes and attacks, but Moshiku would simply tank the wind pump from her before then slapping her away, but Hiyashi barely managing to catch her before he then lands. 
Naruto, he, he can't be dead. How strong is this creature, thought Hiyashi. Momoshiki then stands straight as he then saw the angry shinobi, and the Kage would then show themselves as guard and ask, Who the hell are you? But Momoshiki simply smiles as he appears right in front of him and no one is able to keep up. He would then grab him by the face, saying, You have one too. Instantly from all around him, all the Kage would appear and they explode with chakra and bloodlust, but he would just grin from ear to ear. We then fade to black. We go to Naruto's psyche, meanwhile, and leave the battlefield to play out. He will slowly open his eyes and look to see a familiar place, similar to Kurama's seal, I guess you could say, where he resided. He felt cold water embrace him, which made him quickly sit up hastily. Hello? He then looked at his body, seeing his injuries were no longer there, and he then stood as he began to walk forward, looking for a way out. Hello? He asked again. Holding his hand out, he would then form a chronosphere, and he finds that his powers are still okay, but this just doesn't feel right. This is when he hears a voice, and quickly he turns to see a flying Hagoromo. Okay, am I just going to be meeting gray people today? <laughs> it's good to meet you, Naruto. We then cut to another version of Hagoromo as he says hi to Sasuke. In just that short span that Naruto went seemingly dead, everyone arrived and the war started. Sasuke was one of the first to be killed, even with the help of the Kage who were brought back. Hashirama was present, as was Tobirama and Minato, but none of them could even scratch the creature. It was toying with them. And after he took Shikaku and Gara, he just did whatever it wanted. Sakura, meanwhile, struggled to keep Naruto alive, but that's why Hagoromo was here. And he asked Sasuke and Naruto what they wanted. Naruto says he wants to defeat that guy and protect his friends, while Sasuke wants to destroy him and continue his goals, but he does not specify what those goals are. Naruto, your abilities are something unprecedented, said Hagoromo. I was gonna guess you gave them to me since you said I'm technically your son. No, I had no involvement. You were simply blessed, it seems, but. To help you, I will now give you my power. I was expecting you to fight my mother, but someone far more fearful has appeared. He holds his left hand out to show the sun seal, and for Sasuke, he holds the right hand out to show the moon seal, with the two then proceeding to approach the Otsutsuki before then touching his palm, and they are then transferred the powers, the ones that would help them beat the new enemy. Out in the real world, we find Guy going full power, burning red, as he gathered all the power to his feet, and leaving all those, even the Kage amazed. Flow! Night guy, he yelled, as even Momoshiki was caught off guard by his power, but as the shinobi attacks, he would then meet his kick with one of his own. You're still not gonna beat me, human. In that instant, Guy is then touched from the back by Minato, who was shown to be in KCM mode. He and Guy would then teleport away while a gigantic shadow would come to loom over Momoshiki, and as he looks back, he sees uh, Hashirama's giant Buddha statue. Everyone get back, yells Hiruzen. The shinobi would all disperse, we then find Koshina running with Naruto in her arms while Sakura kept healing him. Meanwhile, Sasuke was carried by Orochimaru, who runs while Karin healed him. And as uh, Hashirama's multiple arms hit, they are blown away by a giant biju bomb with the alien blitzing and sending Hashirama flying with a punch. The impact turned him to nothing but papers, but he quickly would reform, only to then go to attack again. But then he was caught by somebody, and Momoshiki became wide eyed when he saw who got him. Hashirama looked back to see Naruto, who would explode with mana, as his energy would be felt by everyone, and his Renegon takes a white color with black lines while giving him three to mow it. Hinata would cry as she sees him back alive again and well, and the Kage are in awe of what they just saw, but then from behind the alien came Sasuke who flew up with his wings before then forming a whole Susano. I'm only doing this because we die otherwise, he say. I'm fine with that, said Naruto, as Momoshiki and Hashirama would then switch places and Naruto would now be holding him, and with a smile he sends him flying down with a time shockwave from his Renegon. He lands down and everyone becomes blinded by the dust just as it is then blown away by Momoshiki, right as Naruto appears behind him and he would then turn with a swing. Naruto however effortlessly catches the attack, and his arm is then ripped off by Sasuke who comes down slashing with his Amaterasu covered blade. Ah! Oh shut up, said Naruto. He slams his hands into his stomach, and from behind then jump out the spirits and the very be beings of the Biju who become free. So this is the power of time he uses, asked Hashirama, and Tsunade would not saying that guy has no chance because she's never seen Naruto as powerful as he is now. For me, his time saver, Naruto would then step into Momo uh, Moshiki's heart, and with a scream he begins to fracture but says, This isn't over, there'll be others. And will beat them as well, says Sasuke, as he resheathes his blade right as Momoshiki then shatters into the air, leaving nothing behind. They beat him so easily, but it's finally over. Minato then left his KCM mode and was left in awe of what his son can do, and the beast meanwhile will reform before they begin to stretch and sigh with relief. Your boy's pretty impressive, Kurama, said Yuki. Everyone then hear the voice of the Biju and are surprised they can talk at all, and Kurama then yells for him not to tell people his name just like that. Karin and like the Hebi would just come to Sasuke, and in the meanwhile, uh, the Kunoha 11 would gather around Naruto and all give him a hug, and Kiba would say, Dude, don't scare us like that. My best in Naruto. So now that Jiraiya and Hiruzen would then come over as well, asking what that thing was. They were fighting it, but they never, they never like got an answer. And as the group uh, would uh, break their hug, Naruto would say, So you're not gonna ask me, How are you, Naruto? Good job coming back from the dead. How do you have a white Renegon? 
to be fair you're not faced by either said Drya. true but yeah it's over at least until his reinforcements come back but him and i still aren't done it looks like sasuke who now had the renegade much like him but of course it was normal and with their glares glowing everyone uh just felt like something was about to happen when this is when out of nowhere naruto's then punched off the head by someone the Kona 11 then see a fiery Kushina and Minato walks up from behind as Minato would then yell, You got a sweetheart and you didn't even tell your mother? If you're his mom, then why would you do that? asked Choji. Minato would then agree, telling her to calm down since they're technically not even alive, and Naruto would then become wide eyed as he looks to see his parents, and Kushina apologizes, saying she just really got excited. It's really them, Naruto, at least that's what they told us, said Shikamaru. With the knock, Kushina then says they are his parents. Seriously, all these years, a new idiots never realized how similar these two looked. She points to Naruto and Minato, and while she looked around, everyone would kind of be ashamed because they didn't realize and they do, do look very similar. And Kushina then comes to look back at Naruto but saw that he was crying. In a panic, she apologized, saying she was just overreacting. And Minato would say, He just met you. Why would you throw a punch? I know, it's, it's just an instinct, she said. I'm fine, I'm fine. It's not the punch. It actually doesn't hurt. I'm just happy to see you guys. The family would then share a hug for the first time ever, and it was an understatement to say that this is Naruto's happiest moment. But it is then interrupted by the Biju. Alright, they're still here, said Naruto. As he then turns, saying that he would like if they could talk about this all later. I'm not gonna chase you, so you don't have to worry. As if you could actually do it, said Shukaku. Do you really wanna test me right now, said Naruto, as the beast would then slightly recluse, making the others laugh. And I mean the others as in the Biju. That brat can control time. You really need to learn how to shut up, said Kurama. But as he said this and Naruto saw all the beasts lined up, he realized something about Gara and turned as he screamed for him. But Gara then showed himself saying that he was fine. However, Lady Chiyo gave up her life for his. I'm sorry. It's not your fault, Saigara. As he stepped up, saying that he was just happy to be back. But it isn't over yet, is it? He said. As he looked to face Sasuke, and Sasuke says that it wasn't over. Everyone then felt the two were now clearly going to fight. And Naruto said, like I said, we're postponing this until later. I have to talk with my friend. Friend, huh? Sweetie, that's just toxic, said Kushina. But Naruto yelling for her not to say it like Sasuke and him are in a relationship, like dating. And she laughed, saying she's just messing around. And to go get his friend. Make sure you win, said Minato. He nod and a flash or two would then disappear just from using the body flicker at insane speed. And the Biju would then start to stare at the humans who awkwardly look away because they know what they've done. And they know if Naruto wasn't alive, they'd likely all be dead. Now, Naruto and Sasuke meanwhile come to land on opposite sides at the end of the valley as Naruto stands on Hashirama while Sasuke stands on Madara. And Naruto would then ask just one question. Can we go home? That place is not my home, Naruto. You're well aware of how far I've strayed. After fighting you, I plan to destroy it all. Naruto says that's only going to happen if he wins, as Sasuke would then enter a Susanoo state and truth orms from behind him as well, before he then throws them at light speed, but with one flash of his Renegon, Naruto would freeze them in time. Sasuke then appears behind him and comes down with the sword just as it is then caught barehanded by Naruto, and Hashirama's statue isn't even affected by the impact at all. You knew this wasn't going to work, didn't you, said Naruto. So why are you still doing this, Sasuke? Realizing Sasuke was just going to fight it out until he died or something because he just didn't look that driven, Naruto asks him to just talk but Sasuke says he has lost everything and he's just done. My brother's gone. My clan is gone. I don't care anymore. Well, I'm not going to end it for you, said Naruto. You're so selfish, said Sasuke, as he lets go of his sword and falls down as he would then palm strike into the ground, erupting the statue with black flames all over and Naruto would dodge while flying backward before he then pulls Sasuke over using his almighty pull. After doing so, he then sums a punch into his stomach right as he then poofs and Naruto dodges to the left when Sasuke appears behind him and thrusts with the sword made entirely out of black flames. From before, everyone would feel the wave of chakra just from the two clashing as they realized this was the true deciding battle. I cannot believe I always ever see the day when Shinobi became this powerful said Tobirama and as he says these words however his body begins to fracture as his soul rises into the sky and as others see him they begin to leave as well giving some people time to say goodbye to their loved ones while Kushina would be feeling sad that she couldn't stay I can't even cry oh god it's okay it's okay he's gonna be fine said Minato as he comforts her and Minato then looks down at everyone as they rise saying it was an honor to fight beside them let's hope we don't have to come back again all right said Hashirama I'll do my best says Tsunade as she would shed a tear with Hashirama giving a big smile before laughing as he said that he missed her a lot. As if caught in a trance, the army would end up looking to the sky as they would wait, and the sun finally fully rose and they waited and waited and about 3 hours passed when they would then feel the presence of Naruto and Sasuke. Looking far off, they wonder where they are says Naruto would then appear holding Sasuke over his shoulder and a worried Karin then runs over asking if he's alive and Naruto says of course you idiot he's just out cold. He would then lay him down on the floor as Karin would then see he is healed and hugs him while thanking Naruto for helping him. No problem. Also, since Sasuke decided to come back, I guess you're now all citizens of Konoha. You two are included, he says as he points to Sugatsu and Jugo. So you're staying. 
I don't really mind. You seem more at peace somehow, thought Jugo. Then I can finally declare this war over, asked Tsunade. But the non Naruto then give a thumbs up and she sighs, but Naruto asks where the beasts went and Ruzen says they simply left. Even the fox, huh? Alright then, let's go home, said Naruto. Time skip, 20 years. We find Naruto in the office of the Kage as he, announced, uh, he was now the whole Kage of Konoha and he'd be working on some papers when the doors then busted open to show Boruto, Mitsuki, Sarada, and Konohamaru. Hey dad, Boruto stop doing that, said Konohamaru as he and Team 7 then enter and Naruto would then say he's used to it. So, C rank, how's it feel? It was quite the experience Lord Thirst, said Sarada. Agreed. Although Boruto simply held the real ninja down because he quote, felt like it, said Mitsuki. What? <laughs> Why, why don't you just get through a mission like normal when I can just crush everyone with my gravity, said Boruto. As you then like, explode with purple mana, that just begins to lift every object around in the air. And this includes Naruto's papers, just as the energy would then fade, and they go flying around since, Nar uh, since Boruto cannot control such delicate things yet. Soon, the floor will be filled with papers, causing Sarada to chuckle with, Naruto, with Boruto, my bad, saying to shut up. They're too light, it's just too weird to let go. It's fine, said Naruto. He snaps his fingers, and a chronosphere would then explode from him as he rearranges everything back to its original uh, spot. Maybe Mitsuki and Sarada are amazed to see it up close because, well, it's rare to see him like do anything like that because he's too strong now. He don't have to worry about something. <laughs> now, um, this is when Naruto would say, "When we get home, you and him will already need to train on that." Naruto, however, would then sweat as the at the mention of this, saying that Hergeki Genkai is too strong. It's literally portals and space control. How do I fight against that? Ha! <laughs> Not my problem. You stingy old man, yelled Boruto as he huffs and puffs, and Konohamaru would then knock him on the head, saying to be respectful, and would apologize with Naruto then saying once again that it's fine. I'm proud of you guys. I don't really have anything right now, so you can just relax for the day. Also, Sarada, Karin asked about some lipstick you took? Sarada would then get embarrassed, saying, Mom, why would you ask that for the Hokage? Alright, let's go, guys. Bye, Sensei, said Konohamaru, as they would then leave, while the Boruto would then say that he'd see him at home, and Naruto waves goodbye. And as they leave, he would then turn in his chair and just lay back and let out a, a huge sigh. This one he hears the voice of Kurama before he then forms beside him. He got him back and he would ask, you good? Yeah, just reminiscing. I never thought I'd... This is when his mind would then be shown a future that would also be shown to Kurama since they are connected now properly. And the two would then become surprised as Naruto would then stand while Kurama would be smiling. It's been a while, huh? Yeah, that bastard called for reinforcements after all. You never gonna destroy all of them. As Kurama gets back into the seal, Naruto would then disappear in a yellow flash, and that brings us to the end of the series. Tell me down below what you thought, go check out the full playlist, which is now complete with 5 parts, and just go enjoy it from the beginning if you want, because honestly, that's the most fun part of this series, and just have just have a blast with it. I hope you guys like my addition of the um, Otsutsuki in this, more specifically Momoshiki, because I wanted it to be a little bit scary, even though we all know that he was going to get crushed. Sorry about that background noise. My chair is like acting up today. I swear to God, I, I had to stop specifically because of that. Not even because I was like, I was recording perfectly. But nah, this thing had to creak. All right, um, the next video is the One Piece one. Yes, I'm finally doing it. I'm sorry it took so long. It's about like, it's close to 40 minutes long-ish. So you're welcome. All right, peace. Phenomenon, stacking cheese like it's Parmesan. Eight different flows call me Octomom. I'm moving fast like the Autobahn, and I'm independent, so I'm not.